using my Golden Open Paints. That's Cad Red Light, Cad Yellow. Uh, I have some yellow ochre. Alizarin Crimson. Manganese Blue and Ultramarine Blue. I don't think I'm going to use any of my sap green. Probably won't even use some of these colors. White. And I'm going to take a good size brush. My canvas is only five by seven. I'm going to use a number eight bright brush. And I have some thinner golden open dilutant. I'm going to do a nice bright orange on the segments over here. It's probably a little too much white. I'm going to soften the color as I move over to the right. And then the other orange has a lot more yellow in it, but it's much lighter in value. I'll grab some more yellow. And I'm just going to um, push the color lighter than what I see, just so I get contrast from the other orange. That may be a little too creamy. I want each one to look a little bit different. It's okay if they overlap a little, each segment, I mean. I'm 
gonna do more intense yellow on the far right of this line here. Need some nice intense yellow, I mean orange. <laughs> On the edge, I think I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. This one is a six flat. I still want nice big brush strokes, but I couldn't really get the precision on the shape here with the number, whatever that was with the bright. This can get a little bit lighter as it goes back. I'll go a little softer with the orange back here. And I'm going to push this a little bit toward a green gray for the rind in some of the spots. We don't want the rind to be pure white. that'll complement the orange a little bit better. And even though in the reference photo, the uh, background is white, I'm gonna push it a little bit purple. Add in some more white for this top here. I don't want it to be the exact same color as the um, as the rind on the bottom. I made that a little too big. A 
it'll be okay. I'm just trying to get a little bit of the highlights in here on the rind so it's not all one flat color. All right, shadows. I'm going to do, um, I guess, I think I'm going to do a purple shadow. I'm going to grab a clean brush. And I guess let's see what I can make with the cad red ultramarine blue. It's gonna make a muted purple. It's kind of ugly. Yeah, I don't like that. Hmm. I don't like that either. I'm going to try glycerin crimson. Here we go. That's more what I wanted. So I'm going to do a glycerin crimson with <clears throat> ultramarine blue. So the cooler red and the warmer blue. I can already tell that was too much blue. I'll put in a little bit of white here. <clears throat> so I want my shadow to have a bit of a gradient, darker up against the, the orange, and then a little bit lighter as it moves away. I think I need more of this thinner to get my paint flowing a little bit better.
I'm just gonna shift the hue a little bit on the edges. These shadows usually have a bit of a gradient. I think I'm fussing too much. All right, I'm gonna leave those alone. And I'm gonna grab um, more of this white. A little bit more. And probably more of that medium. We'll start with this purple. I'm actually gonna mix in a little bit of the um, cad yellow light just to desaturate the purple a little bit. Trying to go slow around the edges of the um, oranges and the shadows so that I can just kind of clean up the edges a little bit. And also these golden open paints have a slow dry time and so I don't want to smudge the paint too much. Though a little smudging will be fine.
gonna paint the sides while I have this extra paint on here. Don't like to have my sides be an afterthought. Because then when I go to sell the painting and I realize the sides are not painted, especially with the golden open since it takes a couple of days to fully dry. just want to clean this up a little. I can see some of the canvas popping through. All right, I'm gonna call this one finished. Um, I don't think I can attach the reference photo on YouTube, but I will attach it to uh, my Instagram post. And you can find the link to my Instagram in the description below the video.